Steve here, Woodworking Masterclass. And what I'm putting together is just a very simple series of basic hand tool usage. In start out, it's just gonna be basic hand plane usage. So what I wanna do on this first episode is show you how to actually square a board up. That is, dress it on four sides, not the ends, that's the top, the bottom, and the two sides. So I've got a manky old bit of cedar here that doesn't look all that respectable, but I can guarantee when we've planed it, it's going to have beautiful colour and beautiful grain. There it is, horrible looking bit of cedar. And I'm going to demonstrate this both with wooden planes and metal planes. And on the metal body planes, I'll use a number seven and a number three. Now in order to do this successfully, make sure that your planes, the blades are really, really sharp and your plane is tuned well. I've got a video I posted a while back. It's on basic sharpening. So have a look at that if you want to brighten your plane blades up. And then there's another video I've done on how to tune the bench plane. And you can check that one out there as well. So once you're happy that your blades are nice and sharp and the planes are tuned properly and working well, then pick up your timber and there's no right or wrong way. I prefer if I've got a cup in the timber, that's the timber's cup that way, I will plane that side first because I find it's easier to plane between the two ridges rather than planing a hump out in the back of the board. So now we've got two reference faces, the face and a reference edge, and we'll mark that edge as well. Now I'll change planes and use the metal body planes and do exactly the same process so you can see how easy it is to do with either. Again, check for the way the grain's running. In this case, it's running this way. So I've got to turn the board around because I'm left-handed. And I'll now plane down here. I'll use a number seven plane. What I will do with the metal plane, which I didn't do with the wooden plane, is get a bit of candle wax and just give it a bit of a rub on the plane. That helps the sole run smoother, especially over this rough textured uh, timber. And again, you can see here, I had a cup in the other one. See here, I'm just getting the middle part, which is the opposite of the cup that was on this part here. Go at a bit of an angle and you'll see that the board is cleaning up nicely in the middle and we've just got to work out towards these edges here. Same thing, up and down and overlap your cuts as you're going and we're getting full width shavings off of that. Go back the other way. Now that's almost there. I've got a little piece here and a little piece at this end. But the rest of the board's pretty flat. What I want to do now is check for squareness because this has to be parallel to the other side. So we use the edge here, which is true 90 degrees to the first face that we did. Now we use that as a reference point. Put a square on that edge and then sight down the square. And I can see that I'm about an eighth of an inch down here and an eighth of an inch high here. So again, pop that in the vise and concentrate on this edge here. It only take a couple of passes. Check it again. And that is absolutely spot on there. Got a couple of ridges from the plane. So what I'll do is get the number three plane. Very fine set. And I'll just put a little bit of candle wax on that as well. And I'll just take those ridges out. 
See how I'm taking very, very light fluffy shavings off of that. Check again to make sure it's square. So if it's square to this edge, it means it's parallel to this one. Now what we've got to do is shoot this edge here. And for that, come back, pop it in the vise. And again, I'll start with the number seven. Or if you don't have a seven, if you've got a six or even a five and a half, but if you're trying to shoot a board or, or make a board nice and flat, I really wouldn't go anything below a five and a half because you risk those undulations I explained earlier. Again, you can hear the hit and miss and you can see it. I've hit there, I've hit there, but I've missed there and there. So just keep it going. And if you want to make it square, get your fingers and just hold it under the fence like that with your thumb on the toe and that'll maintain the squareness. Now, there's only one way you're going to actually get that so it works and that's practice because you tend to, everyone has a tendency to either roll to the right or to the left but if you can do that, I used to tell my students, if it feels uncomfortable, it's most likely the right way because it does feel a bit weird. But once you get used to it and it's muscle memory, oh, it's so easy to shoot. And there you can see I'm getting nice, broad, flat shavings all the way through. Now, using that first board that we referenced, this one, use that as your first edge and put the square onto it. To see how you go with that edge. And again, I'm a little bit high here. So what I'll do is pop it back in the vise. Now I could take it with, I'll take it with a number seven. Now what I'm doing, I've got my fingers under there and my fingertips can actually feel a gap between this edge of the timber and the sole of the plane. And when I plane this, I shouldn't get a full width shaving because I don't want a full width shaving. And if you look at that, you can see I didn't get a full width shaving. I just took it off this edge here. So I'll do another one of those. And I reckon that's going to be just about on the money, which it is. So now the acid test comes. This face we haven't marked, and this one should be square as well, which they are. There you go. As you can see, it doesn't take very long to dress a board down on four sides. When it comes to the end grain, that's a, another a video I'll put out on how to shoot end grain, but that's basically how to dress a piece of timber. And for my money, look at that, it's, it's beautiful. It was quiet and I wouldn't bother turning the machine on just to dress that bit of timber. Well, that's it. How to dress a board by using two planes. Whether you're using wooden planes or steel planes, number one rule is have sharp blades and have your blades tuned. Okay, that's Steve pulling the shed door down on the first tip on hand planes and saying remember to keep it sharp, but more importantly, keep it safe, enjoy your woodwork, and in the case of hand planes, just practice. See ya.